a live stream from Tenerife at sunset. What should be a, uh, a really beautiful sunset tonight. And if you're here live, welcome. Um, I thought I would do a little bit of a live because I'm here on the island for a couple of days. I'm doing a couple of videos, um, which you will see on Friday, uh, Sunday, and next week as well. Uh, so come and say hello in the chat. Give the video a thumbs up. As always, it does help me out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk from um, Los Cristianos onto Playa de las Americas and then onto Costa Adeki. They are, I would say, three of the biggest resorts in Tenerife. Obviously, Santa La Cruz is obviously the capital, um, but down here you can get warm temperatures all year round, 27 degrees mostly during the day, even in the winter, probably up to 25 when it's really rubbish. Um, and I know that everyone is going to be asking me what the temperature is so I will tell you now the temperature's been 27 degrees today it's dropped to around about 25 right now so there you go we won't I know that people will still keep asking me what the temperature is I have got a little bit sunburned today just by walking around so um, quick disclaimer um, there was going to be a special guest joining me on tonight's live unfortunately he couldn't be here which is such a shame so it will be just me Gabby's not here either, nor Thumps, so it'll just be me. It's, it's like the old times, like the old days we used to do it. Uh, good evening, Rosie. Uh, hello to Unhuhu from Minnesota. Uh, YTH from Indonesia. Craig Cargo, hello to all the channel members. Hello to the mods that are in the chat. We've got a full house tonight. Foxy B, Andy Mullaney, Belvedere. Uh, Craig is here as well. Um, do it, the mods do an excellent job of obviously getting out the riffraff when we get it sometimes. Now, obviously it's a live stream. The signal is depending on where we go. Um, it should be okay, but there is a little area which I know where well, I've done it in the past where it goes a little bit dark, but hopefully it should be all right. Um, Life on the Ocean Waves here. Hello to Craig E. Good to see you, Craig. Um, it is dark in the UK. Sunset literally is about to happen in two minutes. Okay, I've had to wait just a little bit because the sun will be in eye shot of the camera and you'll get that glare and it will look horrible. So I thought I'd wait until sunset happens, which is in just two minutes. So I thought I'd just do a few shout outs and a few hellos as well. Uh, my special guest Lucy was um, a guy called Daniel, Daniel who runs a um, an excursion company in Tenerife, Tenerife First Excursions, give them a shout out. Unfortunately, you couldn't be here though. Uh, it is beautiful. You'll see the sunset. It will be pink and it will be gorgeous. Eugene McGeever, you're always going on about the temperature in Tenerife, no matter where I'm doing a live. So now that I'm in Tenerife, there you go. You know the answer. 27, 25 now then. Uh, Jackie and Paul from Swindon, hello. Looks lovely, nice to see you. are sending some big um, regards from Aberdeen in, in, in Scotland. Tim going to Tenerife in December. Any suggestions to also what temperature will be able to do this? You'll be able to swim in the sea, you'll be able to lay on the beach. You know, even on a cloudy day in the winter, you can still get sunburn in the Canaries. Uh, the winter temperature is around about 25 degrees, even 27 on the, in the south. On a hot day, you can get 27. I've been here in December and January and had it at 26, 27 degrees. Even hotter if you get that wind coming over from Africa as well. Why do you keep getting stuff about Jesus loving you in the chat? I don't understand that. Uh, I, I uh, want to say hello to Anna Tidmarsh, who's just celebrating five months of channel membership. Thank you so much, Anna. By the way, any super chats that I do miss, I do apologise. I'm on a, an app and Gabby's not with me, so, you know, um, there may be a bit of an issue with that. So I do apologise if I do miss the super chats. I'll try my best. I'm using this new app that should tell me but um, it's also a little bit slow. Um, just Tom, I'm in Los Cristianos. We're gonna start the walk in just a moment. Just doing a few shout outs and a few hellos. Hello Zoe, nice to see you. Uh, Annie says, hello from Denmark. It's cold and rainy in Denmark. I'm not here having a family holiday. It's just for um, doing YouTube videos. So I'll tell you where I am. Um, I'm staying in a couple of hotels, which you'll be able to see on the channel coming up on Friday and next week. One of them, well, they're both five star, okay? So I thought I would just do both five stars because I'm going to do some videos in a couple of weeks that won't be five stars. So I'm getting my five stars in, if you know what I mean. Um, Gabby's in the chat as well. Good evening to the wife. Hello, darling, you're right. Last time, I, of course, I saw Gabby was um, Monday. I took a very early flight. So after I finished the live on Sunday, which you may or may not see, 
I took a flight from Stansted to Tenerife. I think the flight left at about uh, 5.55 in the morning. So yeah, by the time I drove down from Norfolk, it was, it was, I didn't get any sleep at all. So yeah, yesterday I was like, uh, so any of God knows what the videos are gonna look like. Hello from Plymouth in Devon. Hello, John. Thanks for joining us, John. Steve is here. Hello to Olive. Joseph, hello to Ryan, Christopher, Lee Davies, uh, Bex, hello to you. Lovely setting behind you. Yeah, do you know what? This is the great thing about um, Tenerife. You can get some really lovely photos, but also you can get some naff ones because Tenerife being a volcanic island, when you look over that side, you've of course got all the, the volcanic rocks. They don't look overly that great, but you can still get some nice areas like this. Uh, this is the port, you might be able to see Fred Olsen travels just over there. They obviously go out to the other Canary Islands. I think it's uh, Ohira, Ohira, Ohira. I always get the pronunciation wrong. So they do go out to some other Tenerife Islands. You can also see a Viking boat, which I was mentioning from Daniel, and if he's, if he's catching up with this, Daniel, plug for you. They do do um, some excursions on that boat, actually. So I'll show you that as we go past. Hello from Wales. Are the camels still there? Paul, yes, they are still here. Hello Portugal, John is here, Craig is here, hello to Tina, hello to Ray, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you where I am right now. Um, Ellis, thank you so much for your little super chat, and um, Gabby, yo yo sexy pants, <laughs> she said, thanks for that darling. There you go, there is the sun going down on Los Cristianos Beach. Uh, where I am right now is uh, a little place where you can get some drinks also you'll find a lot of street vendors here doing little little bits of music and shows it is extremely busy on the island but it's it's peak sea well winter here in Tenerife is obviously very busy as is summer but uh, obviously being a winter destination you'll get it very busy George media it's not a holiday have I been up to much I've been filming that's not a patch on Yarmouth Beach, says Rosie. Tim, what advice would you give someone just starting video of vlogs? Mo Jama or Jama, just go and do it. Uh, Eugene, I tell you what, you need to tell me about an Indian here because I want to have an Indian after the live if I can. Yeah, dark winter nights. Bex, it's not good. Is there an Asda there? No, there is no Asda here. That boat looks posh. Hi from St Albans. Hello, Bubble Cadbury. Give the video a thumbs up, it'd be great to get a thousand thumbs up if we can during the live, so do what you can. Loads of seats, too many seats. <laughs> a little bit random with the seats, isn't it, really? Uh, but we're moving from Los Cristianos on to Playa de las Americas and then on to Costa Adeki, so uh, hopefully you'll stay with us as it gets dark. I have brought a light with me if it does get too dark. We'll go on towards the surfers beach on um, near Costa Adeki, which is... Uh, there won't be any, well, there might be people surfing at sunset, you never know. <laughs> Definitely getting hungry though. Uh, need to go to the top of Mount Tidi, Lunar Landscape Pool. Yes, if you've never been to Tenerife, the um, Mount Tidi is a must because it is any, anything like you've, or unlike anything you've seen ever. Are we in Benidorm? So you see that little boat? There's like a little Viking boat just out there. You can actually go on that and uh, live like a Viking as an excursion. There's also a webcam up here. If you're familiar with um, doing what I do sometimes in Google locations when you're missing out on what the, uh, the weather's like or before you come on holiday, one of the webcams to Tenerife for Los Cristianos is actually up here. Angela, no worries. Peter, thank you very much. Greetings from Skegness. From Skegness. Uh, Steve Newton, thank you so much for your super chat. I just want to say thank you for all your great videos, content you make. I've had the pleasure of binge watching your videos. Thank you, Ellis. Uh, thanks to Jack Travels, who's just subscribed. Got this new app, is telling me all that. Uh, hello, Tim and Gabby from Wales, Cop Watcher. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate your, uh, your support. We're going to do Porto de la Cruz. I'm out there at Christmas. Well, if you haven't seen already, there is a video on my channel of Tenerife. So a Tenerife tour guide. If you just go onto my channel, search for Tenerife, you'll see it there. 
people still playing volleyball. Can I get a shout out for my lovely wife, Sarah, who's just got in from work? Thanks, Daniel, appreciate that. An Indian, don't you mean a curry? Well, you can get a curry at a Chinese, can't you? Scotsman in Tenerife is here. How you doing, dude? Look how many people are playing volleyball tonight. I kind of want to get in there in the action. All tanned as well. I actually, um, despite what you may think, I actually haven't had chance to do any sunbathing because obviously I'm here doing videos, so I don't get a chance to sunbathe. And obviously if Gabby's in the chat, she knows this anyway, but obviously it's non-stop filming. So um, yes, if I do get any color, it's literally just from walking around, no sunbathing. Barry, Cop Barry, thank you so much for your super chat. Treat yourself to something later. I appreciate that. Thank you, Barry. That's a long walk, it is, and hopefully you'll stay with me as well as the sun goes down. It's the best time to walk. The violin in the background was very nice. Chris, hello, Chris from Kev. Love the video of the shard, says Ian. Thank you, Ian. So we're leaving Los uh, Cristianos Beach. Do you know what, I, I, to be honest, some people, it depends. It's not only my favorite beach. It's definitely Playa de las Americas and Costa Rica, which is my favorite beach. Hi from Potten, my nine-year-old son loves your channel. Thank you. KK Crisp is in the chat. We're graced with um, Walk With Me Tim royalty. <laughs> now normally, I was swearing on there, I hope that didn't get demonetized. Now normally I'd go through there to go out on the other side, but I always lose signal going through there, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna literally walk just right by the port. It's not the best view, but uh, it will be a bit quicker. Or well, I won't lose signal, should I say. <clears throat> Come to Aberdeen, do some reviews here. Ellis, why is it dark in England, but light by you? <laughs> well, if you uh, know the world map and you know that the, um, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, obviously the Canary Islands are further west than the UK. Are you attending Skegness for life? Do you know what, Michael? I'm hoping to, but I don't think I will. Tracy, I can't go through that tunnel. I will definitely lose signal through there, so I have to just quickly pop up. I know there's not much to see here, but just pop up and see you on the other side of the beach. But yeah, island hopping, this is the place to do it. Hello from Darlington. Thanks, Darlington. Is it warm enough for a dip in the sea? Of course. Indian. Yes, definitely. I am looking forward to hopefully trying to find a good Indian. I've got to try and find just across the road here if someone lets me out. Worst time to cross when uh, people are literally just coming off the, the boats. Hang on, let me just get around here. Coming in a month, can't wait. Jealous of you being there now, Andrew B. Well, hope you have a great time. Hello to Kieran. Hope you're good, Kieran. Hi from Liverpool, you should visit Craig. I've done a few videos in uh, Liverpool. So let's hit a thousand thumbs up for the live stream. Do give it a thumbs up. But just, I just wanna shout out this place though. This is a really nice place to come um, during, the, during the day. Also at sunset because it has some amazing views. Let me just quickly show you in here. It feels very tropical though, with all this. Absolutely love it. Not very many people in here tonight though. No doubt it will get busier later. But yeah, if you're in Los Cristianos, maybe coming here on a holiday, definitely check it out. So I'm in Tenerife literally for three days, no longer. Peter from Skegness, thanks very much for your super chat. I appreciate that. I can see the super chats now, so if you wanted to donate to the channel, help me make more of these videos, I would appreciate it. Obviously I can see them now, I've had a problem with the app, sorting out. So that volley volleyball court has got nets around it. It's unusual, isn't it? Hello to Tracy, Sarah Charles is in the chat as well. Um, am I doing any karaoke tonight? No, I hate karaoke with a passion. I won't be doing any karaoke tonight. 
Um, hello Tim, it's Carla Michelle from Lower Stoft. Thank you very much, Belvedere, putting that up. Yes, there are still people in the sea, there are still people on the beach. One of my pet peeves is, I used to have an ex, I used to come on holiday with her, and it would be like, six o'clock, you're on holiday, go in, get changed to go and have something to eat. Where sometimes I'd be like, well if it's still warm, you're on holiday, let yourself go, go on the beach, go in the sea a little bit later, does it really matter? Some people it does. Craig, now that's the travel day video coming out on Friday. Exploring with wheels, hello. Do let us know your favorite Canary Island if you have one in the chat. I have to say, and even though I'm in Tenerife, my favorite Canary Island is definitely Gran Canaria. Hey Joey, hope you're doing all right. <laughs> of course, Carly, every time. Look at the sunset and the, uh, the boats out there. By the way, if you haven't followed me on social media, all the links are in the description, but you can follow me for Instagram, Facebook. I do post photos, little videos that you might not see normally on YouTube. So uh, go and check it out. Oh, my chat's froze. I knew that was gonna be a, a while before that happened. Hey to Mark. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello Tim, you're in my favourite place. Have I been to Monkey Park? Not yet. Warren, is New York next? Yes, that's next week. One million subscriber special. Tim does karaoke. That might be a while. Tenerife has a haunted hotel, says Craig. Really? Where is that Craig? Tell me. Why is it dark in the UK? We've already answered that question. Can we say hello to Mia? Hi Mia. Belvedere, you are so hot on all those links. Thank you so much. Paul, thank you so much. What's a little fishing village quite near? Love there. Oh, which one you might be talking about there, Paul? <coughs> Kaz T, hello. I've been to Los Cristianos twice, so jealous. It's warmer than Inverness. <laughs> Definitely is. Please, can you wish Adam good luck for his exams tomorrow? Good luck, Adam. Hello from Manchester. Your uh, Sasha's hotel review was hilarious. Well, I try. Didn't think it was that funny. Grand Canary, Maspalomas Beach is beautiful. Indeed it is. Big nudist beach there as well. What is your favorite radiator? That's a tough one. <laughs> Let's to the right family. Oh, Kieran, leave off with the Hemsby in Newport. We will be soon. Hello from St. Petersburg. Santa Cruz, Woohoo! Amanda, hi. We love Tenerife, but also Fuels of Ventura. Fuels of Ventura is lovely, but there's not much there other than beaches. But look at that sunset. I would call that a famous sculpture here on uh, Las Vitas Beach. You see it on postcards quite a lot. Is the beach better than Cleethorpes? Yes. Hello to Connor. Good evening, Connor. So if you have just joined the live, you're joining me for a, a little bit of a stroll around um, Tenerife and the popular tourist hotspots of Los Cristianos, which you've just been in, on to Playa de las Americas, which is like the Beverly Hills of Tenerife, and then on to Costa, uh, Costa Adeci, or what looks like it's spelt like Costa ADG. Tim, do you have a normal job? No, I'm a content creator. I, would you say that's a normal job? Oh, I knew. What? So I need some new sunglasses, but not for that price. Although actually, for Ray-Ban, they're probably quite good. They do look good, 75 euros. Uh, just Tom, I'm off to New York next week. I'm debating whether I can do a live from there just because I've got a lot of videos planned. It's gonna take up a lot of time, so. Hey Tim, we were in Tenerife for the first time recently, loved it. One of our kids left her phone in the transfer bus. So if it's still there in the Hotel Las Americas, oh no, it's the worst thing, isn't it? Did you ring up the, uh, the company? How long is the walk today? Well, probably over an hour as always. Have you seen very good, very nice? No. I don't know where he floats around. 
there's a there are beach sellers here that will sell you very cheap stuff um, and one guy went viral with his very good very nice rendition um, but loads of other people just take it on now so you probably won't know if he's got the glasses on there the side how would you know who he is exactly got quite drunk in the bar on the right nice uh, Adam I'm good thank you hope you're enjoying the live stream when are we going back to Benidorm that probably won't be till next year now yes for disabled people and people in wheelchairs uh, a lot of the beaches here do have great access onto the beach one thing I found a great way to get around are these scooters if you can um, if you can get them try not to run anyone over Alan thanks but I'm not on holiday Kaz T, I go to New York on Sunday. Best job in the world. Well, anyone can do it. Amy, you'll see where I'm staying very soon. Hi from Nottinghamshire, Viv. Hi from the Northwest, says Sean. Pavement looks very shiny. This is the thing in Spain and the Canaries, you get um, ceramic pavements. I don't know why. I think it's to do with the heat, but when it rains, it's not great. Look at the color of the sky though. Gorgeous, isn't it? Hopefully the picture and the quality is all right. If you're just enjoying chilling out from a day's work or maybe you're just intrigued because you're coming to Tenerife soon, welcome to the live stream. Uh, Mike says, we were watching you on a 50 inch TV. The quality is excellent. As if we were there walking with you. Brilliant for a live. That's good to know. Could you do Florida please? Hoping to actually, I was talking about that with Gabby. I know Gabby's in the chat, but she's probably cooking dinner or something, so she's quite busy. Hi, Anne Marie, thanks for joining us on the live stream. Uh, amazing, you're Goulston Beach the other day, now Tenerife. <laughs> I know you can get from one extreme to the other, you never know what you're gonna get. Stop for a one euro pint. I don't drink beer otherwise, I probably would. If it was a one euro wine, then I'm there. T shirt weather is the best. Did you slam your shorts on, Tim? What on earth does that mean? Uh, Daniel, hope you're doing all right. Remember, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out enormously. So we're leaving um, Los Cristianos behind. We're going on to Playa de las Americas at sunset. We should look beautiful. This is my favorite time of the day, especially to go for a walk because um, it's just so warm and if you're wearing shorts and if you're wondering, yes I am wearing I can't, I can't the camera down. I am wearing shorts. You can't see it, this is uh, good. Right. Shorts and t-shirt weather, yeah, because people always ask can you wear shorts and t-shirt when you come to uh, Tenerife in November, December, January. And sometimes it does get a little bit cool, but you know, that's probably after like 10 o'clock. But this time of the evening as well, you've got the heat as well from the sand and from the um, from whatever the pavement is, so you can get quite warm. But they're still selling stuff, let's see what they've got. Some cheap bags. Nice, how much are your bags? You sell the wrong one, how much is that? How much? How much? 30? 30? Yeah. 30 euros. Mm, I wonder if you gave me that for a Christmas present. Gabby, are you watching? <laughs> I think one. I'll think about it. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. The look on his face when I said I'll think about it. Um, so, not gonna. Should I go for the shopping? No, I can't go for the shopping centre because definitely we'll, um, we might lose signal. Look at that though for a screenshot with the colour of the sky. That looks beautiful. If you're enjoying the video, it does help me out if you give it a thumbs up if you can. And remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Craig Cargill, thank you so much for your little super chat. I appreciate that. Um, Tim is, Tim the, is that where? Hotel is haunted? I didn't know that. I'll have to check that out. Liam, would love to do what you do, Tim. Go for it, Liam, pick up the camera and just start doing videos on YouTube. Anybody can. I'm no different to anybody else. And as I keep saying, I used to watch 
others doing videos on YouTube and thought, I'll give that a go. And actually, there's people copying what I do, which, you know, it is what it is and people will. Look, anybody would think you're in Benidorm. The most awful hotels that are around here are definitely these. I don't think the hotels actually. Um, but yeah, they makes you, does, makes you think of being in Benidorm. Looking forward to more vlogs from the US. Have a great time in the Big Apple. Can't wait. You've sport this year with your content. Thanks, Rosie. That does mean a lot. Uh, Jess, thank you so much for that. So we're now in Los Cristianos, the Beverly Hills of Tenerife. And look at the color of the sky. I've picked this perfectly. Go and see Denzel Washington. You're gonna pass him. Oh, I missed that. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on the chat. Hope you're feeling better, Craig. Hey Tim, we stayed at the Santiago 3 Hotel and played the Las Americas. Are you going to get your hair braided? I don't know if you've noticed, but I can't get my hair braided because it's too short. So people call this the, um, the Beverly Hills of Tenerife and you can see why. Although <laughs> Zara, I'm just pointing out, but some nice expensive shops down here. And also um, they've spent a little bit of money on the tiles. Oh, that's nice. Because you've got no cheap ceramic tiles here. Thought they were doing a vlog then, I think they're doing a photo. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're watching, are you? So we've seen you down in Yarmouth. We've got a caravan stacked Have down you really? in Oh wow. Best place to be other than here, I guess. <laughs> How long are you here for? Ten, ten days. Ten days, we've done five. I'm jealous. I'm only here for three days, but yeah, I'm jealous. Ten days. Um, I can't say on the stream, oh, okay. but uh, because it's, it's a secret. Right. <laughs> you probably can tell we by the wristband. Can you tell by the wristband? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, one? yeah. It begins with H. Is, is it, the... <laughs> it begins with H. You probably know what it is. It begins with H and ends in Nick. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know it, yeah? yeah. Are you watching now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> oh, have you? Yeah. I love that. Very, very big happy entrance. We'll sit like inside. I've never been in there. Good. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, we've been in and had a meal. Yeah, it's good. Because the hotel I'm staying in, it's not very cheap for drinks. So no, no, I, I need to get some cheap You're drinks somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so like I looked at the bill last night for just two glasses of wine and I was like, well that was my meal for tonight. What am I going to do now? <laughs> anyway, thanks for thanks for coming to say hello guys. Yeah, Might see you in Hemsby again. Yeah. You never know sometime soon. See you guys. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I'm sure they're not real, are they? Are they? Obviously not. Very swish. Who says uh, Tenerife is tacky? What's the word? What's the saying? I've been to Tenerife. You've been to Elevenerife. <laughs> Quality bad at 7:20. What's the signal like? Foxy B is in the chat. You'll be able to tell me what the signal is like. Joey B, it's like being at home, Tim. Well, to be honest, it's quite nice because um, every time I do a live stream, even when I was in Vegas, I got uh, a couple of people coming up to me. It was very nice. Look at the colour of the sky, though, with the palm trees. That has definitely got to be one of my favourite times of the day. And anyone who loves taking photos, palm trees and the sunset sky, ah, oh, amazing. Dave, um, someone who is abusing their power as a moderator, just timed out by someone has asked if you would do a skydive out of Spain. Well, I, maybe that was an accident. Foxy B, is the signal all right? Yes, it's okay. By the way, do put in the chat um, where you are tonight watching us from. Is there anybody else who's watching us maybe from the Canary Islands right now? Perky, yes. You're right, this time of year, um, SAD, Seasonal affective disorder does come into play and um, 
that's why it's great you know for YouTube because you could maybe come across a live or you can come across the webcams and just take yourself off. I used to do it all the time and Gabby would be like what are you doing I was like well I'm in lap at the minute and then I'm going to Spain and then I'll go to Vegas you know so and the webcams have got so much better compared to what they used to be a lot of them are all live now as well some have sound some don't so it's, it's really annoying when they don't have sound you prefer them to have sound it's so much better Thank you, Nigel. Appreciate that. Uh, Jackie says you're in my favourite place. The Christmas decorations are out in Tenerife. I don't know if they're always there or not, because obviously I'm not familiar with Tenerife. So, how many thumbs up have we got right now? Because I can't tell on here. Hello, Devon. Devon's in the house. Wolverhampton, East Lancashire. We've got Leeds, South Yorkshire. Watching in uh, Fiordaventura, Aberdeen in Scotland. By the way, again, if you did get an advert, this is this the whole live stream thing, YouTube, you, if you want to monetize the video, so you get adverts on the replay, they're now doing it on the live stream. So it's a bit difficult to actually turn it off. I try to maximize it to the, um, the least amount of time to abrupt you. So it should be only 30 minutes, so I do apologize. Hey, Hong Kong, Milton Keynes, Lincolnshire, Skeg, Vegas is in the chat. Temperature is 20, I think it's about 25 degrees right now. It's 27 earlier. Still very nice and warm in Tenerife. I'm wearing shorts, not feeling a chill. We're coming up to the Hard Rock Cafe. I've never eaten in here. The front of the hotel looks massive. A lot of people get confused thinking that's the actual Hard Rock Hotel, but it's not. Quality camera, it's just on my phone. Oh, Lucy, when you get past the safari, have I missed that? That's where he hangs out, does he? Watching from Cape Verde, love Cape Verde. Watching from Buckinghamshire, was in Tenerife in September, we go every year. Do you know what, you might be surprised, because I used to be the same. I'd be like, well, I want to save my money and go to the Canaries in the summer you get the best of the weather on long days and yes the days are longer but coming in the winter you can still get some really very nice you think of it as in the summer in the uk even on a cloudy day it's still pretty warm and you can still get a suntan as well uh going to tenery uh, going to fiorta on the 20th of november you have put me off going if why have you seen my video i thought i sold that place Yes, there's not much to do, but there is some beautiful beaches there. And if you don't want to spend the money to go to the Caribbean, honestly, Fiorsaventura is the best place to go. Is food and drink expensive here? It depends where you go. Ashley, thanks very much for that. It's raining in Great Yarmouth. Is it raining at home? Only nine degrees. Watching from the south of the UK, I was walking down the Golden Mile last week and no Christmas lights up then. Uh, da, 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 the palm trees are amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at the colour of those. This must be the biggest Hard Rock Cafe entrance I have ever seen. I've never eaten in there myself. Let us know in the comments if you have. Carol, we're in Playa de las Americas. Well, kind of at the minute. This always gets me confused because some people say, well, no, it's not. And yes, it is. But I still would say it is. Can you walk up the stairs? Which stairs are you talking about? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you had a cheeseburger there. Most people have. <coughs> this is why we call it the Beverly Hills of um, Tenerife because you get some very expensive shops down here. The floor is much nicer. But unlike Dubai, where they won't let you in certain shops unless you have a very good bank balance, I think here in Tenerife, they will let you in. <coughs> in fact, I love this shop in Spain. Never know how to pronounce it correctly. Fundgrub? Fundgrubi? Fundgrub?
but the time here in Gran Canaria, uh, Gran Canaria, we're in Tenerife. The time in Tenerife is exactly the same as in the UK now. So it's 10 to seven, best time of the day from half past six to seven o'clock to go for a walk at sunset. A thousand thumbs up would be good. So how many have we got already? Um, do you recommend it, uh, Tenerife? Yes, I do, definitely. South of the island, but you know, I mean, they've got some really lovely beaches up in the north part of the island. It's just sometimes the weather up there isn't overly that great. Gaming, FFC, I'm jealous but not in a bad way. It looks very beautiful at night, incredibly lucky. Well, I'll tell you now, the flights cost me 50 pounds each way. So the flights cost me 100 pounds <clears throat> for th four days, three nights. So, you know, think about it. If you get a fairly cheap hotel, you could be paying probably around about 250 per person. For, yeah, 250 pound per person for a few days in the sun. Just if you want a quick getaway, why not? Um, I'm in Tenerife right now, where are you? 800, we haven't got a thousand thumbs up yet, even though we've got nearly 2,000 people watching. It doesn't cost you anything to hit the thumbs up. And remember, if you want to see more travel content from me, to remember to hit that subscribe button too. In fact, we cross the road here. Ashley, thank you very much for your super chat. I appreciate it. Costa uh, Deki is very upmarket and similar to the this part of Playa de las Americas. Plaza del, ooh. Sarah Charles, thanks for that. I've just checked my pockets because I have got my, um, yeah, thanks for that. The flight was with Ryanair, by the way. This is why at the moment, a lot of people are coming to the islands because the flights are so cheap. Now, obviously, if you have family and you have kids, um, taking them out of school and what have you, you've got to sum that up yourself with how much it costs as they, you know, they will charge you for taking your kids out of school. Would it still be cheaper? But if you you don't have kids and you're pretty flexible, <clears throat> a great time to come out to the Canary Islands in the beginning of November. The sky still looks amazing. Hit that thumbs up. 2,000 people watching. What camera do you normally use in your videos, Kieran? Uh, I use a, a DJI Pocket, DJI Pocket 2, DJI Pocket 3. Um, Dave, off on a Caribbean cruise on Friday. Oh, nice. Are you any closer to booking one? I am talking with Gabby about it as we speak. Have you been to Laurel Park? No, I haven't. Now, obviously, if you haven't seen the videos from Tenerife, they're on the channel right now. Um, I visited Tenerife, I think it was a year ago, and did a whole travel video about Tenerife going up um, and seeing all the sites. There's also a video on the channel about staying at, um, sorry, at visiting the best water park in the world, uh, rated on TripAdvisor, which is Siam Park. And I also got Mount Tidi, which is um, a very big volcano here in Tenerife. And you know what? When you, when you, it's funny, when you're here on the island, and you think about how big that volcano is. You can see it when you come in to land in Tenerife. I Googled stupidly what would happen if that went off. And well, it's not nice reading it. <laughs> it might make you paranoid coming on holiday to, um, to Tenerife. Let's just say you wouldn't be safe at any place on the island. And the, the volcano is still active. That's the scariest thing. Temperature's 25 degrees right now. Hi everyone. Um, can you shout out to Denny? Hello, Denny. Also, give it a thumbs up if you feel like you need a holiday. What's the weather like in uh, Costa Deca in December? It's pretty much like it is all year round. You can get sunny days, but you might get a little bit more cloud sometimes. But it doesn't really ruin your holiday because it's warm. You can still enjoy the beach and the sea. What? Dan? Are you close to the airport? Please don't tell me that. 
Uh, can't believe I saw you in um, Midwich Cuckoos. Yes, you did. That was ages ago. The best thing about Volcano is when you go up there, it can be sunny and warm and hot down here. You go up to the volcano, you can get snow. It's crazy. Thank you very much to uh, Nisha and Ashley and a day of starlight who has just subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it. Oh, I love that flip-flop shop. <coughs> Got a super dry here as well. Hopefully it's not too bad on the wind side. Look at the color of the sky now as we're walking up here. Um, what's your favorite crisp flavor? Really? We're in Tenerife for asking me that question. Is it true volcanoes go off every 10 years? No. Am um, I going to Santa Cruz? I have been to Santa Cruz, but not today. Just like, thanks very much. Is the weather good in December? Yes, the weather's great in December. Is there a Hollister? Jessica, no there isn't. Well, not that I've seen, although there was a Skechers just up there on the right hand side, but no Hollister. Wow, just look at that. See, in, on a dark, cold, wet November evening, this is what you need to see, palm trees and the most amazing sunset. Look at that. Just in front of you is the best place to watch the sun go down. Are you going to Veronica's? Um, no, I don't think I'll have time. Have I done a Skegness in hotel? No, I haven't actually. Are there any boat trips available? Carol, yes. Of course, there are loads of boat trips available. Now that I'm walking away from um, the west, we won't see the sunset as much, so I'll keep flicking it back occasionally so you can still see it. How's your elbow? Thanks for asking, um, Jacqueline. It's still painful. Where's the ice cream? It's further up here, I think. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Adam in Andover, he's a huge fan. Thank you so much, Bex. Appreciate it. Can you shout out my girlfriend Hannah watching you from Cannock? We're in Tenerife in five weeks. Can't wait. Enjoy and come out for sunset. Obviously, uh, in uh, December, the sunset will be a lot earlier. I prefer cozy lounge lamps on heating and the sound of rain. Do you know what, Lynn? I do as well, but then sometimes you, you can have too much of it because we're used to it in the UK. You can have too much of a good thing and then you need to see something like this. This is a popular spot for surfers. You can see over towards Costa and Decky over there. The hotel I'm staying in, you probably can't see it, but it's literally just right over there. Listen to the waves. I'm going to be quiet for a second. A bit of uh, ASMLR or whatever it's called, so you can hear the waves coming in on the beach. Do you know what? The wind is so warm. And it's even warmer when you get down by the beach because the temperature of the sea obviously sometimes can be slightly warmer than the air. So it lifts the temperature up. Get that gorgeous smell. There is a Primark, and hoping that there will be a Greg's there soon. Is there really a Primark here? Oh, well, I must have missed that. There are plenty of McDonald's though. Is there any live music? There's loads of live music. I can't put it on the stream, obviously. I'm back out there in 14 sleep, says Graham. You should try a trip to La Gorma. I am trying to do, or th I'm thinking about doing a video where I visit every single Canary Island. I'm trying to do it in the fastest time possible, but that'll be next year. They do have a Starbucks here, which I didn't notice the last time I was actually here. And yes, I can't say that I'm going to drink a Starbucks, especially one of their Christmas coffees, which they are selling here. I can't drink one of those in Tenerife. That's just so wrong. The taste of an eggnog latte would just be weird. Do I have any go, uh, plans to go to Malta next year? Yes, definitely. Uh, Mark, I am just walking up towards Costa Decchi. We started off in Los Cristianos for the most amazing sunset ever. 
There is a Primark in America now. Yes, I believe there is. Could you do some more Scotland um, content? I haven't touched upon Scotland too much, but definitely will. Daniel, we're walking with you, Tim. Are you? Hello to Anna. We've got a thousand thumbs up. That is brilliant. Just keep hitting it. It does help the out the video. Uh, Andy says me and the partner are going to Tenerife next year for my 40th in September. Any plans venturing to the Far East? Well, as you know, I did Dubai this year. I'm planning to do Abu Dhabi next year, probably around about the same time. However, I'm also thinking maybe because there was a few hotels and a few other places that I'd like to go to in Dubai. Look at that sunset with that palm tree. Beautiful. There's far too many McDonald's though in Tenerife. No, Ian, well, not tonight, hopefully. Tomorrow night's another question. Barbados. I'd love some videos in Wales. The only video I've done in, I've done a couple, I've done actually quite a few videos in Wales. You should check them out, Aberystwyth. Um, I visited um, the deepest hotel in Wales. Uh, I've done Cardiff. What's the other one in Wales? I've done quite a few actually, you should check them out. They're on the channel now. Have a Liche Liche. It's a Tenerife coffee. Lecce Lecce. Well, it's just milk and milk, isn't it? Are you trying? If I go in there and ask for that, will they just give me milk and milk? Milk, milk. They'll just give me milk. Hello, can I say hello to Andrew Clark from Coventry? Just subscribe to your channel. You should stay by and boot Scarborough. I have, and I have to say, Dean, I did stay there and I checked the mattress and I wasn't very, um, although I didn't spot anything, there was evidence that, I don't know, but that freaked me out. But I was surprised about the hotel because, um, where I was staying in the hotel, it didn't look the best. So that was my first time staying there. I wasn't overly impressed with it, I have to say. I'm sorry if I have just sworn. You need to come back to Western Supermare. Yes, Lynn. Ah, oh, thank you, Ashley, appreciate that. Hello from Wiltshire. It's condensed milk coffee and milk. So a bit like Mellow Birds, is it? Have I been to Rill? Yes, there's a video on the channel of Rill. Do you know what? I wish we had some of these in the UK, Alley Hop. They're like really, uh, if you can imagine these like really weird and quirky things to buy off the internet, you'll find them in the Alley Hop. Kent is in the house. Have I done any videos in Essex? Of course I have. Have I seen any other vloggers in Tenerife? No. Did I reach out to one? Uh, yes, but he's not available, unfortunately. His plans changed, bless him. Just got back from Vegas and staying in Circus Circus. <laughs> I've been watching your video. Charlie, how did you feel about it? What was it like? Did you get a good room or a bad room? Even though I'm calling it a worst rated hotel, I would still stay there again because I just kind of love that old Vegas style of hotel. It was amazing. There you go, we've got some live music tonight. I don't know why they need that fire on, because it is really not cold. People are sitting outside here. <laughs> I thought I was in Grand Theft Auto then, the way that guy was walking. Is it warm there? It's very warm. In fact, I've got a little bit of a sweat on at the minute. Do they still do timeshares? Do you know what? They don't do as many timeshares as what they did when I first started coming out to the Canaries. I remember coming to Gran Canaria and all they did was push timeshares all the time. Obviously they still do, but it's just done differently now. Yeah, I'm very surprised they got these paraffin heaters out because it's really not cold. There's a guy that would stop off. Hi Tim, love watching you and Gabby. Uh, what do your family want for this for Christmas this year, Joy? Oh, that's a big question. You'll have to ask Gabby that. Judy, thank you very much. I love the fact that when you're walking, some people decide that they're going to walk into you. Even though they can see you coming, they're still going to walk into you. Will I ever visit Asia? Definitely one day. 
fat couple in front of my parents. OMG. I've missed some of that chat, sorry. Uh, Lindsay, thank you very much for your super chat. I only recently found your videos. They're entertaining. Thank you for making them, though they give me chills. I like your worst rated videos. <laughs> Ashley, thanks very much for the um, super chat as well. I do appreciate all the support. Uh, good evening, Jenny. Tracy, Tim, how is thumbs? Is he talking yet? No, but he's making lots of words and, um, and different notes in the words. So hopefully he'll be saying something soon. Hopefully the first word will be daddy. <laughs> Even though Gabby would um, disagree with me. Uh, we're up in six from Leicester and moving to Northumberland. Any tips? I don't know because I haven't been to Northumberland. <clears throat> Have you got your 10,000 steps in these videos? More than enough. Does it cost you lots of money to make this video when roaming? No, because I've got a pass with EE um, on my contract, which allows me to have um, free minutes, free text, and free unlimited data, or what I have normally back home, but I can have it anywhere around the world, which is great. Obviously I pay probably only about five to 10 pound more a month for it, but it gives me the opportunity to do lives from all around the world if you have been watching the channel this year you would have seen the lives coming from uh, Vegas um, we didn't do one in Dubai did we Lapland of course oh by the way yes Lapland is coming back up again if you like the video that I did last year we'll be returning to Lapland in a couple of weeks so yeah it's gonna be a busy month of November a bit of Sun a bit of America and a bit of snow hopefully they've got snow there at the minute but that can sometimes change Hi Tim, great to see you. Give me a shout out to me and my twin on our birthday today, Lorraine. Happy birthday. Am I going to Siam Park? No, Daniel, I'm not going to Siam Park, unfortunately, because I do not have the time. It's literally just three days. You are great reading these comments because just so many viewers are chatting flying by, Tim. And yes, it's probably because I'm on my own, so I can concentrate a little bit more on the chat. What would your dream destination be? Um, I would like to do Australia, but I know Gabby wouldn't. Thanks Anglo-Saxon. Saxon. Hi Tim from your biggest fan, Sophie. Thank you, Sophie. Sophie has just celebrated eight months of channel membership. Are you planning Christmas? Hope you're well, yes. There are plenty of videos coming up on the channel that you may like Christmas wise. Now, obviously they're gonna go up before Christmas because there's no point posting videos at Christmas. Do you know what I mean? So the Christmas videos will come within the next, dare I say it, the next few weeks. Casper would love Laurel Park. He definitely would. Evening from just across the water in Gran Canaria for a week. Rob, I'm jealous. I love Gran Canaria. Any plans to go to Turkey? Would love to see some content. Yes, hopefully next year. Now the only downside to this walk is that um, I have parked the car literally in just near the harbour. So I'm gonna have to get one of those scooters to get back there quicker than uh, getting a taxi. But I've got the app and it's a Spanish app. And a lot of these scooters that are around, I've just noticed that They've all been moved to the hotels because people have using them to get down to the beach and that. And at the end of the day, they put them back in the, near the hotels. So yeah, might have to be a taxi driver or a walk. The sunset is still happening though. Look at that. Just about. Gorgeous colors. Tim, can I just say, I absolutely love your videos. Do you know what your carbon footprint is with all the uh, Tracy do? Well, I have thought about offsetting that to be honest. I'm looking into that. I will do that, uh, but not as much as other people do on YouTube, believe me. Got to try Sardinia. Yes, that is lovely. Loving the live, Tim, Rob and Jane from Chesterfield. Would you ever go to Japan? Stu, yes, I am thinking about doing some of these really cool little hotels in Japan. That would be great. Martin says, I am your biggest fan. Would you like to live in Tenerife, Eugene? Um, I'd have to say no. 
I don't think I would. I still do like the seasons, not that we really get them in the UK, but what I like about the Canaries is that you can come here in the winter, it's cheap, um, all right, it's four hours, but you can get summer weather just when sometimes you need it. Is there a country you have little or no interest in visiting? Um, that's a good question. Yes, and, and I'm sorry to say this, but, um, but people keep saying go to Paris, and yes, I would do it for a video, but I've never had an interest in going to Paris. Venice, yes, I would love to. Have I got my tree up? No, if you've got your tree up, you're so wrong. What is this thing that as soon as November the 5th is out the way, or actually now Bonfire Night is out the way, yes, it was now, it was after Halloween, the Michael Bublé Christmas advert came on. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's just, it's just when I was younger, they wouldn't start until December. It's just, you know, you can't get any earlier, but starting Christmas off just after Halloween is just stupid. At least we get Bonfire Night out of the way first. What's better, Lanzarote or Fuerteventura? It depends what you want. Lanzarote is um, not the best looking island. They do have a lot of volcanic beaches, obviously black beaches. Um, I do like Lanzarote. You can see my travel video on Lanzarote, Fuerteventura and Gran Canaria. All three of them are on the channel if you want to have an idea about which to pick. Um, but between Lanzarote and Fuerteventura, Fuerteventura is just so much more prettier but Lanzarote, obviously, with the volcanic side to the island still active, it is pretty um, interesting to go and see. Um, so, like, for example, when I went and did, um, I went into some of the old lava tubes in Lanzarote, and it was totally insane. It really makes you think about, wow, how big or how massive these volcanoes can be, and just the lava tubes going underground and the power of Mother Nature. I mean, you know. Yeah, so you should check it out on my channel if you haven't already. Get a drink of sangria. Do you know what? You can't get sangria that easy in the Canary Islands as you think you can. Because although they're Spanish owned, they still take on their own um, kind of identity. Like, if you come to the Canaries, you've got to try Canarian potatoes with that sauce. That is really loved. Lovely, they're basically like new, small little new potatoes with a really nice sauce on them. Tenerife for Gran Canaria, Gran Canaria every time. What's better, Lanzarote for sure to enjoy Tenerife, La Gorma, um, or El Hero. Well, I still would say Gran Canaria is my favorite, definitely. Yes, there is bed bugs in Paris, but there are bed bugs pretty much anywhere you go if you get bad luck. Shout out, happy birthday to Tommy from Joe from Manchester. Hi guys. Do you get paid via YouTube to pay for these trips? Do you know what's really interesting is somebody actually said to me the other day, um, wow, I can't believe that uh, YouTube, oh, hang on, I've gone wrong. I need to go over here, don't I? Can I go down here and over the bridge? I think I can. Um, somebody said, wow, I can't believe YouTube sends you all over the world. And I had to correct them and say, I send myself, YouTube don't. Someone's got a laser and they're shining it on me. Is it hot there? Yes, it's 24 degrees. Well, 25 degrees, I think, right now. Someone's got a laser and it's shining it on me. Really annoying. What's better, the Balearics or the Canaries? That's a hard question. The Balearics are beautiful, but, you know, they're not that great for the, uh, the winter, are they? Oh, if you get a chance, go to the Horror Bar in Los Cristianos. It has all the horror film memorabilia just up from Dreamer's Bar. Thanks for the tip. This always stinks here because of the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the standing water down there and um, yeah, you get bitten by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes used to be a big thing in the Canaries. They're not as much as from what I remember when I used to first come to the Canary Islands. I'll tell you, there were also less um, cockroaches here too. And that's another thing that a lot of people misconsume, that when they come to the Canaries, you know, it's filthy and dirty because of cockroaches running around everywhere. You've got to remember that, uh, unfortunately, it's just because of the island and they're difficult to, uh, to control. 
but you will find them in some of the hotels. I remember my first time staying in Gran Canaria. Do not stay in bungalows if you can help it, especially in Gran Canaria, honestly. Never ever again. They were everywhere. They were because when we turned up, someone had put tissue paper in all these little holes in the bed in the wall. We were like, "What the hell's that about?" Then we realised we pulled the bed covers back. There was a cockroach in there, and then we pulled the pillows back. There was a cockroach in there. They also like to hide behind um, paintings and pictures on the wall. Yeah. So if you stay in bungalows. Even the hotel that I'm staying in, I saw on TripAdvisor someone commenting about bed, uh, not bed bugs, uh, cockroaches. The palm trees look frosty. Did somebody really just say that? Sorry if I'm a little bit behind on the chat. So yeah, I'm looking for an Indian after the live. So if you've got any suggestions, anybody, that'd be good. Clown Hotel was cool in Las Vegas. It certainly was, certainly really freaky. Why is the beach club closed? I don't know, that last time I was here that was closed. I have a pet cockroach. Well, each to their own. Do I have, am I seeing any benefits from YouTube having over 250,000 subscribers? What would you mean by benefits? What is the food like there, John? Well, it uh, depends where you go. Can be pretty nice. So we're moving in towards Costa Rodeki now. So we've already walked from um, Los Cristianos, Playa de las Americas and Costa Rodeki. I think Playa de las Americas is the most popular spot. There's certain spots that will attract the older generation to the younger generation and so forth. But, I know it's dark, but the beaches are really nice here. They're not dark and volcanic either. When motel reviews? Soon. Yeah, again, as I did explain about the adverts earlier, when it comes to live streaming, what YouTube has done now. Will you be in Benidorm next week for Fancy Just Fiesta? I should do that one year, shouldn't I? That would be really good. Can you shout out Max from Bex? We love your videos. Tim, do you like a foreign cup of tea, Craig? Do you know what, Craig? I don't normally, but I had a cup of tea this morning in the room and it was really nice. Now this is a place I do love, especially during the day, because it's got some really lovely views out to sea. It's a little bit strange at the same time, with all the wooden animals in here. It's called Kong, but um, a great place to come at sunset especially, and also during the day for um, some sea views. Tandoori hut. Any plans to go to Turkey? We've already read that out, haven't we? We're going to London on the 8th of December. It'd be good to get you in a Christmas video before then, Rob. You never know, Rob. Don't forget, if you enjoy watching the live streams, some people are still a little bit confused about what they are. They are what they are. I take the camera with me. We go for a live walk around some pretty um, big locations around the world and in the UK. Obviously I tend to do a lot of seasides around the UK. I do places when I'm on my travels as well, when I can do a live. So like, you know, if you would like to see a live from New York next week, do let me know in the comments. I'm only there for three days and I've got to get, I've got to get, I've got to get a lot squeezed in by then. So, but the, with the time difference, five hours in it. So yeah, I might be, uh, I don't really want to be walking around New York City late at night, which I would do if it's five hours ahead, and I do it like seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'd be like midnight in New York. So I don't know with the time difference whether I can get away with it, unless I do a day one. But I know a lot of people. Ooh, that light just went off. I uh, wouldn't be able to tune in. But I could walk around Times Square at midnight. Not probably the best place to do it though in New York, is it really? Why do you think your channel is so successful? Um, I don't know. I sometimes ask that question myself. If you get paranoid and you don't realize how much um, paranoia I get when I think about doing a video, will it be good enough? 
is it entertaining enough is it what you want to see so my my interpretation of the channel is what I used to grow up with like wish you were here on holiday that's what I wanted to do and obviously feasible feasibility wise I try to do that as much as I can mix that in with hotel reviews and also the travel videos too you got to remember in the winter in the UK I'm pretty restricted so that means I do then have to start thinking about going abroad and then you got to think about time and money so but also, luckily, we do get some great little events going on in the UK leading up to Christmas, like Winter Wonderland back at Hyde Park this year. Um, definitely be going back to that. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to do the London Christmas sites, but just because I've done it for the past three years, and I thought I'll give it a miss this year. But if you would like to see the London Christmas sites again, just you know, let me know in the comments, and um, I will. Oh, of course, Laura, 2 p.m. It's not that. It's the other way round. Yes, so of course, no, yeah right, we'll do New York then, that'll be fine. Where did you last sleep? When did you last sleep? Last night. The night before that I didn't sleep for two days. Yeah. Dan, thank you very much, appreciate that. Tim, you are better than Judith Chalmers. Now I appreciate that. There's a nice Indian in Playa de Febe, which isn't too far away from you. My little boy loves watching you. He's five, and his name is Parker. If you could say hello, Tim. Hello, Parker. Hey, Martin, if you're out there next week for your birthday, come and say hello. We'll go for coffee and donuts. Did you make it in time for breakfast this morning, Tim? Yes, I did. You'll be able to see that in the video. Ah, oh, Peter Skegness, that's very kind of you. Don't say that though, it's tempted fate. Have you thought about doing a top 10 best hotels you stay in really enjoyed? Yes, that's actually a really good idea, but I'd have to, rather than restay in them, I'd have to edit the videos that I've already done. Um, did I get inspiration for your channel name from Talk To Me Terry? No? Any plans to come to Plymouth? I was in Plymouth just a little while ago doing a video actually there's nobody in the sea but it is warm enough to go in the water tonight hotel villa mar up there uh, razzle dazzle um, when thanks for the super chat where do you recommend more Tenerife or Gran Canaria I've been to Lanzarote a few times love it there would love it do you know what they're all really different but I keep saying this but yes definitely Gran Canaria head to Gran Canaria I don't know if Gabby's watching this right now, but um, this is where I think we stayed a few years ago with my sister. And we came up here and we had some food. We're in Costa Adeki right now. You can see this is actually quite a long walk. It's actually taken me an hour to walk from Playa de las Americas up towards um, Costa Adeki. Ah, oh, Martin, you'll shout me a coffee. Appreciate that. Burton upon Trent Railways today. Tim, how do you afford to keep existing? Because of the support that you guys give me, which I really do appreciate. So thank you so much. So we've got these stairs. We'll have a look at the back of where we've just been. Will you ever do a live with your sister Tim when you're on a family holiday? I probably could do. I don't know whether she'd actually uh, enjoy that or not. Now that hotel there, what's that called? The Hotel Gran... I can't read it, but that's got great views. So these have got little bays around here. So the water's even warmer. They've got all these breakwaters, so safe for you to go in the water with kids because the waves can be uh, pretty strong from the Atlantic Ocean obviously uh, I've been I haven't chatted to PT vlogs for ages actually <clears throat> Ah, oh, Lee, if you was only here last week reminiscing, that's exactly what I used to do. Oh my God. 
What? Okay, so I don't know if you know my wife, Gabby, but Gabby, that kind of looks like you a little bit. That is scary. I had to look twice. Like, what are you doing? Out in one thing. Uh, Samantha, no, I don't. Cottage or shepherd's pie? Neither. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. This is a really lovely walk. You can walk all this way um, to Costa Decky to go to the McDonald's on the beach. The beaches around here are really nice. And uh, if you do uh, any boat trips, you can leave from here as well. Just weird, isn't it? Because when I was in, um, when we did a live in Santorini this summer, I saw a photo, or I saw a hotel called Gabby's. And then I just saw that photo of Gabby. She's everywhere. <laughs> Gabby's secret life. Any more worse rated? Yes, of course. Uh, chicken tikka masala. Got 2,100 people watching. How many thumbs up have we got? If you haven't hit the thumbs up or the subscribe button, make sure you hit it now. It's free to do. I remember sitting out here with Gabby actually having a drink and some food. It was a couple of years ago. You don't get that many mobility scooters in Tenerife. Not as many as you do in Benidorm. It's a thing in Benidorm, isn't it? But there's like literally no wind. So for me, I've been walking quite a lot, quite fast. And uh, dare I say it, I've got a, um, a little bit of a sweat on because it is uh, pretty warm. Look at that though. Don't, don't quote me how many miles we've actually walked this evening. I hope to enjoy the sunset anyway. One thing I get asked a lot is why does not Gabby not come with you on these trips? And once again, I'll reiterate what I've said plenty of times before. After Sunday we did the live, I literally went back home packed. We watched a film and then I left to take um, a three hour trip, two hour trip down to Stansted to catch a flight for five in the morning. So with a little boy, it's not feasible. And also just because of the expense, when I stay in these expensive hotels and these flights, if it's too expensive to do, it's no point doing the video. So that's the other reason. But where she can, she will come on with, the, with me on these trips. See up here is really nice because you can hear the sea down below. Would you ever do a hotel in Torquay, please, Tim? Thanks so much for your super chat, definitely. Uh, June Jones, thank you so much for your little super sticker. I appreciate the support. Where is best age, where is the best area to stay in Tunia for a uh, middle-aged couple anywhere, really? There's, it's not like, um, I wouldn't say really there's, there's a party part of Tenerife more than there is uh, a quieter part. Hello, little cat. So cute. I can smell seafood. Why isn't the chat moving? Maybe um, just refresh the stream. Keep walking, you'll get to Los, Gia Los Giantes soon. No, I'm not walking that far because that's just crazy. Is this, there was this bar, this beach place here is closed because that was really nice. All music, got to keep walking. I love seeing British writing abroad. What do you mean by that? Are we buffering a little bit? Foxy B, how are we? Are we all right? Watching from Corfu town. Wow, 2,100 people watching. We've been live for one hour and 14 minutes. Thanks for um, staying on. We're heading just a little bit further up here. There's a big beach up here. Let's see how much you'll see that. But um, yeah, this is a nice part to stay actually. Loads of little apartments up on the right hand side as well. You've got big palm trees here, a bit like California. It's quite quiet in there. 
bit more upmarket. So if you're wanting to see how I got here, the Travel Day video, hello, the Travel Day video will be coming up on Sunday and then you'll be able to see the hotels that I'm staying in. Um, sorry, the, the Travel Day video will be on Friday, the hotel will be on Sunday and then the other hotel will come up next week. Nice little balcony up there, look. Stevie Wonder, YouTube are going to know. Don't bump into um, so and so like you did in Ibiza near the pool. Well, I'm not do well. I wasn't doing anything wrong then. I was just actually saying. That's actually quite crazy. If um, let us know in the comments if you've managed to catch one of my lives from abroad this year. There's been quite a few. Like I say, some of them I've forgot. You know, Ibiza, Santorini, and mine's gone. But there's loads more that uh, I have probably forgot. <laughs> Signal's so much better now though um, in the Canaries compared to what it used to be like 10 years ago. Uh, it looks lovely there tonight. Seafood smell is in the air. What time is it now? 7.30. Leanne Spampamato, I can see you there Leanne. Oh yeah, no, we didn't do a live in Sharm El Sheikh. I could, certainly couldn't get any um, enough signal there. Returning to Las Vegas, David NM. I have to ask Gabby. Oh yes, of course we did Gibraltar this year as well. Gibraltar's still one of my favourite places to go on a live. But yeah, it's a little. I do miss Gabby when she's not in the lives because I feel like I don't have the bands just on my own, and obviously. I don't put the camera on myself too much because I have to read the chat, so that's why. Um, plus, you don't really want to see me, you want to see where I am. But um, yeah, I do miss Gabby when she's not on the lives because um, she helps me out with the chat and she loves it as well. <laughs> Most of the time. Uh, back to Cleethorpes in the summer, Tim. Uh, no plans to. How long, does it, how long does it take to fly to Tenerife? It takes over four hours. Sometimes quicker going back. It's always longer going, I find. You did do an Egypt Live, didn't you? No, I didn't. Did I? Uh, nice t-shirt that, yeah, that's Hollister for you. Nice color, it's mint green. <laughs> yes, we're in slow mode. The reason why I do that is because the chat goes up too fast for me, otherwise I wouldn't be able to, to read it. And I know a lot of you guys and the channel members do like to chat to each other as well. So with the um, slow mode being on, it's easier to chat. It's going to get very busy up here in Costa Radecki. What's the temperature? It's about 25. I thought it was dropping, but it's still very warm. Am I sponsored by Hollister? No. Yes, you did the belt thing, trying to sell it to you. Rosie, it wasn't alive. That was just my video on why you should visit Sharm El Sheikh. <laughs> oh, Glendamere, she'll be back soon. Don't worry. Don't worry, I've collected some more slippers as well from the hotel that I've been staying in, which will be available for our Christmas Eve Live, which I hope you'll be able to join us for. Um, plan to do a Christmas Eve Live and a New Year's Eve Live as well from home, where we'll do some giveaways, we'll look at some of the outtakes and just have a good time if you're maybe spending Christmas Eve on your own, or maybe if you're not and you just want to come and say hello and join in with us, feel free to do so. Making me jealous now, all these couples are here. It's flea freezing in Guildford. Can you go to the Moonlight Bar in Costa Decky? Greg, do you ever collaborate with other YouTubers? I've tried to reach out to a few. I said this before, depending on the size of their channel, some YouTube some other YouTubers out there are a little bit egotistical and they're not interested unless you have like, say for example, if I try to reach out to someone who's got a million subscribers or 500,000, I won't hear from them. Yet, if I reach out to someone who's got 10,000, nine times out of 10, they might reply. <laughs> Which is stupid, isn't it? But unfortunately, that's, yeah, that's what it's like. If someone reached out to me and said, I'd love to do a collaboration with you, I would definitely, unless, as long as it's the right collaboration, then um, I would definitely, definitely do it. 
Let's just quickly walk onto the bridge. Uh, Luke is in New Zealand. Hi Luke, thanks for joining us. Leanne Spampamato, what do you mean? No, oh, no, there's Michael Jackson playing. Keep going, keep going, keep talking. Hi Tim and Gabby, whereabouts in Tenerife are you? Um, well, we were in... Um, are we still in Costa Rideki now? Yes, kind of we are. Porto Cologne area. This is another place that you'll see on the webcam, this bridge. You'll see it a bit more from down there. But this is a lovely beach. There's like a little um, water activity in there as well. <clears throat> yeah, if you have missed it, I can't go on here any further. If you did miss it, how much I... Um, how much it cost me to come here to um, Tenerife. The flights were 50 pounds each way. So it cost me a grand total of uh, 100 pounds. And bearing in mind the hotels that I'm actually staying in are quite expensive just because I'm doing two five-star hotels. And these hotels, one of them is the best on the island and the other one is considered by most one of the best five-star, if that makes sense. I just want to say a massive thank you uh, to you if you have uh, joined us tonight on the live stream uh, Snore Lodge donated £2 Super Chat thank you so much when will you come back to South End on Sea oh we never know um, also Alan uh, the greatest vlogger family ever thanks for your hard work I appreciate that thank you so much as we leave the island of Tenerife don't forget you'll be able to see the travel day video coming up on Friday of how I got here and what's really brilliant about it is that I sit next to a guy snoring the entire flight and I capture it all on camera. Don't worry, I'll blow him out for his um, credibility. But yeah, I didn't think that would ever happen on a Ryanair flight, sit next to a guy that snores the whole time. Thanks for watching the live. It's just been me, so it's been, um, it's been very heartwarming that you guys have joined me tonight. Thank you for getting us up to a thousand thumbs up. I will leave you with, um, I don't know if this is still Costa, a decky or not but you'll tell me in the chat or port cologne but um from tenerife hopefully we'll see you the next time we do a live we'll be in new york stay safe everyone and tonight 